it's me, Mr. GoPro Gamer, and I'm back for another episode of Minecraft 1.9 Survival today. Now, right now, you need to see some zombie legs, and I'm in a hole. That's because I have made a zombie XP grinder from one of the dungeons that we found in the ravine, in it, well, in and near the ravine, and. So I just want to say that a lot has changed since the last episode because I did um, a lot of this off camera. Well, I thought it was on camera because I had recorded like an hour and 30 minutes of this, of this Minecraft. Um, and that would have been like five or six different episodes. But the problem was that... I tried recording Minecraft in full screen, and so for an hour and 30 minutes, I got the audio, and I got a recording of my desktop. Yeah, so you can't actually record uh, full screen Minecraft with Camtasia, which I tried, and that did not work. So, I did a lot of stuff there. I made... Um, I made the complete zombie grinder and got all this stuff and there was just like and it, there was just nothing there because it was just the audio uh, there and then it was just a video of one and a half hours of my desktop but so if you're actually wondering how the zombie spawner works I am going to show you Instead of showing you, which will be really hard, I am actually going to go and open this up to LAN to, um, to go into game mode 3, which is spectator mode. So, there are all the zombies. Uh, here, let me start over here. So, this is the zombie spawner that I'm using. It's the one that's in the ravine right there. And the other one that was right... Uh, where was it? The other one that was right here, I made it into a little one, but this one didn't work too well. It's like that, and it pushes the zombies down this way, right here, and they stand here, and then you punch their legs. But that one didn't work too well because the zombies still had full health, but this one works better. So, what happens here is, um, there's a 9x9 nine nine area right here, and... These blocks are here so no mobs spawn on top of the spawner and get stuck. But, so they're right here, and then there's water in the corner, so it almost, so it like reaches the hole but doesn't go down. So when the zombies spawn, they spawn in somewhere in the water, and they go, and they go and fall down here, which is like 23-ish blocks, and that gets them to like either one heart or half a heart, it depends. Sometimes it's one heart, sometimes it's half heart. And then, right here, when they land here, they land on this block, and this piston um, extends and retracts very quickly, every so often, to push them off into the water. Um, they reach here, where uh, mobs, they always jump to try and get out of water. So they keep jumping up this water elevator, which goes all the way up here. Um, they go this way with the water, the water stops right there, and puts the zombies right there. And so you just punch their feet, and then I have a little automation system where when you punch them, their items get collected into that hopper and go into that big chest. But you are probably wondering how this piston thing works. And so it works because there's a piston right there facing here that goes off every so often. And um, it goes off when, well, because there's a block right here, and this has a redstone current going into here whenever this is activated and going through the cobblestone block. So you'll see it really quickly. See, that flashed for just a second because this is a redstone timer. And the torch, it lights up then uh, deactivates. And so when it lights up, it goes through through that block for a second, and it reaches this repeater just long enough to set the, um, that piston off. 
but since it's going into the block where the piston is, that also extends the piston. So there's like one tick where the redstone goes through the block to the repeater. And so that quickly pushes the piston on, or it, it quickly extracts it, and then retracts it again to do that. Yep, and so then it goes, the mobs go down here, and you know, just switch into you know, one wheel quickly, just to show you how this part works. And I'll throw the zombie flush away. But so, since the zombies, they continuously jump, when they're in water to try and get out. Uh, right now I'm just holding space to simulate that. They just keep going up and up this water tube right here until they get to the very top, which has a water channel right here, and which puts them down in that hole with lots and lots of zombies. Click that, and then I'm gonna go back into game mode three real quick just to show you the whole setup once again. So uh, we have a spawner here with the zombies. Sometimes the zombies get stuck, but like nothing you can do about that. Uh, so the zombies are there. They spawn. They fall down 23 blocks. Then the piston pushes them off their block into the water, and they go up the water channel, just like that. Um, they go all the way up. We have several zombies going up right now. And they go up here and fall into the killing chamber. Where from right here you just punch their feet and their drops go into this chest. And they are very loud, as you can tell. And so that's half, that's one part of what I did. The other thing, I made this little staircase up here. Um, this is just where the other one is, the other zombie spawner. Uh, I made this staircase, which currently is overfilled with water, and it goes right into the ocean, and I made this tall pillar, just to show that's where it was. My house is actually right there, you can probably see it right there under the moon. And so, that is that. Oh, um, you might be wondering what drops we got from, well not drops, but what items were in the other dungeon chest. Well, let's see. So, in the, in the first dungeon we had some iron horse armor, um, we got the moss stone from the dungeons, some stuff like that. And then, we found, uh, diamond horse armor and gold horse armor in the dungeon, along with a golden apple, some some more music discs, which I just didn't keep. Uh, one of the zombies dropped a carrot, which is nice. And that's about it. Uh, oh, we also found a saddle, a piece of iron, and then and then we found four diamonds when we were mining, which was pretty great. I was trying to find a redstone to make for that contraption system over there, but it took me forever to find that and eventually i found diamonds when i was mining just trying to find some more redstone so i think that's everything that i've done and uh, i cut down some trees and planted some more trees and now you can see that from like super far away so yeah i'm actually just gonna go back over there really quickly because that's where i should be and I am going to punch some zombies in the legs. So they die. And, oopsies. They didn't want to do that. Then switch back to game mode zero. And then I have this little ladder set up here to go all the way down to where these zombies are. And the reason that this is below ground is because, oh, well, they're all gone now. But the reason that it's so low in the ground is because the, the zombie spawner is so low in the ground and what you have to do the spawners only work when you're 15 blocks away from them so we had to be 15 blocks away from the um we had to be 15 blocks away from the spawner 
and so that's why I had to dig down because the spawner is directly below this block by a lot of blocks and I'm actually gonna leave now because I thought that there were zombies in there but there were not and so I, I'm thinking of like actually changing my base over to here so then this thing can like constantly run and constantly have a ton of zombies in it as opposed to over there these chunks are like unloaded and stuff so if you think i should do that i think i'm gonna do that but if you agree say yeah in the comments down below and i will know what you are talking about but so now i am going to go back to my house over there and i'm actually gonna craft something pretty cool with those diamonds now i have four so i could craft four shovels for not di four diamond shovels two diamond swords a diamond pickaxe a diamond axe two diamond hoes a um an enchanting table a diamond pickaxe i think i already said that um and i think that might be it but there are, there are a lot of options and let's see if you can guess what i'm going to make and let's see if you can guess correctly so first i'm gonna take all of the diamonds and now i am going to go right here and i will let you guess what i'm going to build i'm gonna take one diamond put it right there i'm gonna take a stick put it right there and now i am going to make a diamond pickaxe just so i can like get some obsidian and then we can go to the nether now when i found these diamonds i was really hoping that there would be um i mean that there would be like five of them instead of four so we could make a diamond pickaxe and an enchanting table but we could only make it was only four so we can only make a diamond pickaxe and i don't know if you know but one of the achievements says right here uh, throw diamonds to you, or diamonds to you, throw diamonds at another player. So I'm gonna have to get another player in here to throw diamonds at. Uh, so I can get that achievement. So I wanna get most of the achievements, besides the one that are, besides the ones that are absurd, like the sniper duel, kill a skeleton with an arrow for more than 50 meters. Like, unless I just happen to do that with a bow, I'm shooting a skeleton, like, in a ravine. But otherwise, that's just like an absurd one that I may or may not do. But I hear some zombies. Ooh, they're getting louder. And so now I am just going to go down and I am going to um, place the water right here so we get some obsidian. Whoa, listen to that water sound. Okay, that actually sounds kind of cool. I like that. Just gonna place that and... Okay, no more lava underneath that. We are good. And now, I'm going to mine this obsidian right here. So I need 14 for the portal. And then I'm gonna need... Well, I'm just gonna grab 14 for right now. 10 for the portal, 4 for the enchanting table. Just so we already have the enchanting table. Actually, I'll grab 18. So I will meet you back when I grab, or when I have 18 obsidian. See you there. Whoa. Okay, turns out there's some more lava there. So, now I'm going to hold down shift. I'll meet you back when I have the 18. Okay, I'm back, and I finally ha have the 18 required obsidian. 14 for the portal and um four for the enchanting table i'm just gonna place that there um i actually think that the ravine and stuff is this way i'm not sure because earlier when i was recording and i was trying to find my way back to here i couldn't and i'm like so guys i have a problem i can't find the stairs uh, but it was a good thing that I had the backup stairs 
over like in the savannah farm. And yes, I know I said that I would clear this up because it was annoying so I don't bang my head anymore. But I didn't do that either. Uh, ooh, there are skeletons and zombies right here. Hmm. Well, if there's like a spawner right around here and I didn't even know that and then I could have just made the, a grinder right there and with my base right there so it would have been super close. That would be very annoying. But we are going to go back to here. Um, problem is this isn't my permanent base. So I don't, mm, so I don't want to make the portal yet, because then one's gonna be loud, two then I'm gonna have to destroy it, which also takes forever. Mm, I'll just make it right here. I take these four, put them aside, and not all 18. I didn't want all 18. I only wanted four. That's why I laid out, put down the wood plank. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I have 14 obsidian to make a portal. And, oh, it's going to turn to night time. So, I'm going to place one, two, three, four. Then one, two, three. One, two, three. And one more. And there we go. We have a portal. And now this will light the portal. What? What? What do you mean water doesn't light the portal? It's fire? Oh. Well, okay then. So, let me see if I actually have any flint and or gravel. I do not. So, let us go uh, to sleep. And then, we can go into our cave. I should have closed my door. That was not a smart move. But, there. Now, all the bad guys in the daytime will burn up because of the sunlight, except for creepers and spiders, which have to be annoying so they don't burn. Ha ah! See, that sheep just said hi to me, and I said hi back. No. Bah! He asked me how I was, and I said I was doing well today. Sorry, what was that? I couldn't understand you. You weren't clear enough. But yes, I can speak sheep. Yes, I am going to the nether shortly. Would you like to come? See? Don't say that. He said no, it's way too dangerous to go to the nether for a sheep because his wool could catch on fire and he would just be a big fireball and he doesn't want that. So I respect his decision, so I'll just leave him here. And also I really have no good way of getting him to the nether. So, he was just going to stay here either way. But, we're just going to go down here. Because there, I know exactly where some gravel is. And there is some gravel right there. Just going to grab this one piece and then keep mining it. Over and over. Until I get... What, what if, I think mining it with your sword does better... Um, there we go. Now I have that piece of flint. And I can make flint and steel. I'm probably going to mess up this recipe. Oh no, I got it right. Can you make it like that? Make it any way. Oh, they've changed the recipe of flint and steel. It used to be only that or that. Yes, now you can just, like, place it on top of each other. I didn't know that they had changed that, but okay. So now we have our flint and steel to light the nether portal. Ah, I can't get up. Okay, so now I'm just going to walk up these stairs. Uh, these long, long stairs where I constantly bang my head. Uh, I'm not going to hold that in my hand for fear of catching myself on fire. Yes, if I did, that would be bad. And I don't want to catch myself on fire. Because then, I would die. And I'd be a fiery ball, just like that sheep over there, if he went to the nether. And so I'm going to light this nether portal, like that. And now, we have 
a lit nether portal. And we're going to jump in. Up, oh, psych. We're not going to go into the nether portal yet. I'll save that for next episode. Because this episode already got like 20 minutes. And so I'm going to end it here. Right after I kill this enderman. Here, enderman. Ow, ow. Oh, God. Oh. Yes. Ah. Uh, he didn't give me an ender pearl, though. How rude of you, Enderman. Like, how rude. I just want to gather up the ender pearls to go to the end. But he's like, no, I won't let you. Because I'm mean and rude. I don't want to give you my ender pearl. Like, I don't know why, because he was going to die either way. But I am very much starving and about to die of starvation. So I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all for watching. If you would like to see more of this, please like and subscribe. And uh, comment down below if you have any maps or games or mods, anything that you want me to play. I will check it out. And thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.